today's video tutorial, we are going to be refashioning a pair of denim jeans to a maxi skirt that's coming up. The fashion sewing supplies you are going to need for this project is a sewing machine, fabric scissors, thread scissors or clipper, um, a seam ripper, chalk, this is a marker, any type of marker will do, some straight pins, a ruler and some threads. The first thing you need to do is remove the stitching from the hemline of the jeans. So I've got my seam ripper, just put that inside and then just gently tease the thread open and just keep going until the stitching is removed. Right, turn your jeans inside out and the next is to remove the top stitching on the denim. So, and it's usually a chain stitch and if you can find the chain, it's, it can be a bit tricky, but you can unravel it in one step. Let me just get this started. It can be tricky, like I said. Okay, let's see if we can get this going. Got the other one going. There we go. Just keep going. Cut. This is how easy it is to come apart the jeans. The legs are now open. The next thing you need to do is the front crotch area. I was a little bit ambitious and actually unraveled that. I need to take these threads out because they're not going to last. And then it's going to be a case of lapping it over to a point where there isn't much bunching that's happening around here and then put some pins in. So it should be as relaxed as you possibly can get it so that it looks neat and professional. So get your pins. I'll put the first one here. It's a very bulky section of the jeans. And place it in, keeping it as flat as possible. And I'm gonna to go to about here. So I'm gonna put a pin in here as an indicator. Pins along this crotch area here, down to my desired length. I'm going to use a large stitch. Well, it's about stitch three, 3.5 in order to sew along this line. Okay, machine sewed all the way along to this point here. Secured it, that's my desired length, that's fine. Um, I will tell you one thing though, I love this stitching here, this top stitching, but it's very temporary. It will actually unravel. Now, for those of you who watch my channel know I'm very experimental. So what I'm actually going to do is put a bit of um, Wonderweb on the inside to see if I can secure this stitching that's gonna be here. This won't last very long after a few washes. Let me just show you. So I'm going to put a little bit of Wonderweb all along the inside here. And then I'm going to tack that because I'm not going to cut this away. I don't need to. It's not too bulky. And then that will be a nice finish to the front of this new skirt. It's now time to close the back, give it a back seam. So obviously we've got to get rid of this section here. So on jeans, this is the curvest part of the jeans, if I just show you like that. So I'm going to unpick the stitching up to about here and then sew all the way down the length of the new skirt. So in order for me to create the back seam, I'm going to need a straight ruler and a marker. I'm just using a chalk here. And just draw a straight line all the way down the length of the jeans. I'm at the stage where I want to close the back seam. Now, you may or may not be able to see this chalk line, which I can see. I'm not going to sew here. I'm actually going to leave that open because I want the this detail to be onto the front of the skirt. So I'm actually going to start my seam here. And sew it all the way down. 
come over just a little and then just start sewing. Okay, I'm wearing the skirt back to front. I'm trying to sort out the back crotch and it's just not lying the way I want it to. Um, yeah, maybe it needs to be a little bit more fitted, may help. So I may just create a seam all the way down. I've tried my hardest to figure how I could get rid of this extra bulkiness but it just isn't looking aesthetically pleasing as I would like. So yeah, I'll just do a straight seam all the way down. I'll probably bring this a little bit further up so it's a lot straighter. I have unpicked further up the seam here and um, so what I want to do then is to I could either cut or do what I'm showing you now which is to fold some of this in like so and then create the seam that runs into the seam the seam that I started halfway down the pants and I have that little kind of twist thing happening here it could be a lot neater if I cut it but there will be a little bit of fraying so I'm going to give that a go and see how that looks and then if not then I'll cut it and then i would have to put a little patch over that section there but I'm going to give this a go before because I haven't tried this technique so let's see how it looks okay so I'm now working on the wrong side making it as flat as, flat as possible needle down and I'm just going to continue sewing all the way down to meet the first ditch line that I did this is the result doesn't look very good and it actually reminds me of g-string um yeah so i'm going to take it further up i'm going to take it to the yoke here and i'm not taking it any further than that and see what happens let me just show you a side profile and that's it i need to get rid of this access here so i've drawn a line to the point of where i need to get rid of most of this excess with a chalk line so I'll get my scissors and then start cutting so I've got some excess left over and maybe this I think will add to the back of the skirt in order to hide that little teeny weeny little issue that I have and just playing around with you know all of it or some of it it really is your choice what you want to do if you have the same problem I do this is what it looks like on the inside this is the actual jeans the way it's once you remove the top stitching this is how it forms and I'm just going to leave it like that you can sew that into place I'm just going to leave it because I want to see what happens and then the freshly cut line I'm going to fold that and press and then I'm done next thing to do is steam press the hem so it's nice and flat. You can neaten the hem if you wish, fold it over and neaten it. I'm just going to keep mine loose so you get all these dangly threads. And you're done. We are done. I am so happy with the results of the front. Almost 100% with the results at the back. I can move. And yeah, I didn't have to insert any of the jeans. This I'm not going to call it a problem because it can be resolved, like I've mentioned. Um, but no, I'm really happy and I can move out into it. It's nice. I'm enjoying it. That was another successful video tutorial. You may say that the back isn't as perfect as what it could be, but like I mentioned, you know, the tips I have mentioned that you could perhaps use, you know, a little bit of denim that's left over and make some kind of buckle belt tie situation. But I'm going to wear it as it is for now, and then, you know, if I do need to um, make any kind of adjustments to it, as adding anything onto it just to hide that, then I'll let you know if you follow me on Instagram. Um, any other tips, like I mentioned, is about the top stitching 
I'm going to be adding some, what's it called, Wonderweb. In order, it's, it's like a glue in order to keep that in place. Over time, and when I've washed, the rest will start to come away. But for the first wear, it's going to be really nice. So if you have any ideas for me to do any video tutorials, and put those in the comment box below. Do comment on this video tutorial. Let me know what your thoughts are, whether you liked it or not. And yeah, like I said, if you've got any ideas, then please put those in the comment box below. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.